Preventing a spike in unemployment is the People's Action Party's first order of business amid the COVID-19 pandemic, but it remains focused on its longer-term challenge to sustain income growth for the majority, which will help build a more equitable society. That's according to Senior Minister Tharman Chamugaratnam. Speaking in a Facebook Live broadcast, Mr. Tharman adds that election promises by other parties, such as on CPF or healthcare, could end up exacerbating inequality. Cheryl Go reports. Over 250,000 job losses. Senior Minister Tharman Chimugaratnam says this could have been the damage caused by the COVID-19 outbreak had it not been for government initiatives like the Job Support Scheme, which focused on preserving jobs. A well, basic approach is worth summarizing. Far better that we put government resources into subsidizing jobs and skills than into subsidizing unemployment. $2 billion jobs and skills package. Far more beneficial to Singaporeans than a $2 billion unemployment benefits package. They're both aimed at helping people who lose a job, but far better that we help him or her get back into the workplace, if ideally for a permanent job, if there's not enough permanent jobs in the short term, then be on an attachment and get some structured training that provides a pathway to a permanent job. Mr. Thurman, who also chairs the National Jobs Council, says what the government wants, ultimately, is to provide better jobs for everyone over time. Noting that the average Singaporean has seen wages go up by a third in the past decade, he says the increase is even higher for low-paid workers due to the progressive wage model. But with this set to be extended across all sectors, the cost of some services will rise. The cost of conservancy in a condominium, the cost of cleaning and uh, office uh, premises, costs will go up. And all of us as Singaporeans will have to pay slightly higher costs. But that is a small cost to pay for building a fairer and more equitable society where everyone is moving up together. It's a small cost to pay. We pay a much larger cost if we end up with a divided society. Turning to the issue of social divisions, Mr. Tharman says promises put forth by the opposition to help seniors, for instance, by allowing earlier CPF payouts could lead to more inequality in their retirement years. He adds that this has been the experience of countries that have tried to do away with the social security system, like the US. Mr. Thurman also says the rationale for existing policies, such as CPF Life and MediShield Life, is for Singaporeans to take collective responsibility and share risks in their silver years, with the poor and middle income getting significant subsidies. If you go instead for a system where the government simply pays for everyone, it has great appeal of simplicity, but it leads to greater inequality. Because if the government has to pay for everyone, it means the better off people get the same benefits as the poor. And it also means, and we've seen this in so many societies, that you end up with higher taxes on the middle income group. Yes, the rich can pay somewhat more taxes, but there's no way in which the sums will add up without also raising taxes significantly for the middle income group, which is the way it is in all the advanced countries that people sometimes think of as uh, some sort of dream society. Mr. Tharman adds that the younger generation can play a role in bridging the divide. He urged them to find causes they are passionate about and build an inclusive society that will last into the next generation.